Hello everyone. Let's work on this problem quickly. We have 2 to the power of k equals k to the power of 32. And what are we doing? Looking for the value of k. Now the first step I will take is to eliminate k from here. So it's going to be 2 to the power of k multiplied by 1 over k. And that will be equal to k to the power of 32 multiplied by 1 over k. Okay. Now what do I do next? This can cancel this. And 2 is equal to k to the power of 32. Okay. Then this will be over k. Right? Now if I arrange this, it will give me 2 to be equal to k to the power of 1 over k mm, to the power of 32. And then what can I do in this case? I will try to remove k from here now. To remove 32 from here, and this is what I will do. 2 is equal to k to the power of 1 over k. Okay, to the power of 32. To the power of 32. Okay, to the power of 32. Then I'll multiply by 1 over 32 just to remove that from there. And on the left, I will have the same 1 over 32. So that this and this can cancel. And then 2 to the power of 1 over 32 will be equal to k to the power of 1 over k. Now at this point, we cannot get the value of k. Because if you compare the basis now, 2 is equal to k or k is equal to 2, and then k is equal to 32, if you compare the powers. Therefore, we have to take a step to make it make sense. Okay, so what I will do is to get an equivalent fraction to 1 over 32. And that equivalent fraction is 2 over 64. Okay, and this is still equal to k to the power of 1 over k. But then... This means that we are having 2 to the power of 2 into bracket 1 over 64. They are still the same thing because normally I can multiply 2 by 1 to get 2 over 64 back. And this is equal to k to the power of 1 over k. Now 2 to the power 2 is 4. So 4, um, 4 to the power of 1 over 64 equals to k. To the power of 1 over k. At this moment, it's still not making sense, so I have to take a step further. Now, get another fraction that is equivalent to this, and it is okay, 4 to the power of 2 over 64 times 2 will give us 128. So, this is another fraction to 1 over 64, and this is definitely equal to k to the power of 1 over k. Now, like I did before, this is still the same thing as 4 squared to the power of 1 over 128. Okay, and this will give us k to the power of 1 over k. Remember, I'm not changing anything on the right. Then 4 squared here will give us 16, okay, to the power of 1 over 28 1 over 128 and is equal to k to the power of 1 over k now what do i do again remember that i can still get another equivalent fraction to this and it's going to be 16 to the power of 2 over 128 times 2 will give us 256 and that will be equal to k to the power of 1 over k. Remember that 1 over 28 and 2 over 56 are the same thing because they are equivalent, right? Now, I can still arrange this to 16 squared to the power of 1 over 256. Um, and this will now be k to the power of 1 over k right so this is um a good step now 16 squared will give us 
256 and this is now raised to the power of 1 over 256 equal to k okay sorry you can see that equal to k to the power of 1 over k and this is the point we have been looking for so now we have the same number 256 and then 256 up here now let's go up there so that will continue from there okay so what i had before now okay so this is what i'm having from here now we can just make our conclusion by comparing if we work with the base we have that k is equal to 256 and that's that's one of the that's the answer for k the value for k rather then if you work with the power you have 1 over k to be equal to 200 okay to be 1 over 256 that is the value of k right now from here i can flip this and say k is equal to 256 okay you can see that we have the same value for k if we work with both um, the base and the power now how sure are we that we are correct because we have 2 to the power of k equals k to the power of 32 now let's confirm this we are going to check it now so we are having 2 to the power of 256 because k is 256 equals to you know k is 256 to the power of 32 now do we think the left hand side and the right hand side are equal okay let's take a step now i'm going to work with the right hand side okay so now 256 here is the same thing as 2 to the power of 8 i believe that is correct and then this will be multiplying 32 okay then if you multiply 8 and 32 then you're also going to have from um, 2 to the power of 256 because 8 times 2 is 16 carry 1 8 times 3 is 24 plus 1 25 and on the left hand side we were having 2 to the power of 256 now we have the same thing on the right and on the left meaning that we are correct to say that k is equal to 256 thank you